Hello everybody and thank you very much for watching. This is me, Mr. P, and in this video we'll show you how you can install Linux distro on your Samsung DeX and install free CAD inside that Linux for you to create all the CAD images. Let's begin. First thing, we need to set up ourselves a Linux distro on a Samsung DeX. For Linux distro, we're gonna use Ubuntu and how to set up, we're gonna use Andronix and Termux apps in combined and both of these apps working together will allow you to install Linux distro on in the Samsung DeX. You need to get yourself a Termux and Andronix apps from a Google Play Store. When the both are installed on your Samsung DeX, first thing we need to run Termux inside your Samsung DeX. If I'm gonna open up Termux on my Samsung DeX, so first thing what I su suggest to do is to get your packages updated. So type pkg update, upgrade, sorry, not update. And let it run, it's gonna take Couple of seconds or so for all this to be uh, updated. It's probably gonna ask you to click yes on some of the questions. Here we go, click yes on that. Saying it's gonna take additional 14 megabytes in store, uh, additional storage. The 14 megabytes is for my setup, yours might be different. And by the time you're watching this video, that could be 16, that could be 10, that could be 100 megabytes. So let's wait for this to finish. During the package upgrade inside Termux, sometimes you will get this kind of message saying uh, source files, just leave default, press enter and Press enter again, it might ask you once or twice, or maybe three times. It's all again depending what kind of upgrades you're downloading by the time you're watching this video. The Termux got up upgraded, so we're just gonna clear the screen. And next thing is we need to get a Linux distro command line or command to install Linux distro inside the Termux. Like I said, I'm gonna use Andronix for that. I'm finding Andronix probably the best way to get a Linux distro on your Samsung DeX. And once you open Andronix, you will see a couple options here. You have Ubuntu, you have Kali, you have Debian, you have, I think it's called Manjaro. Here we go. You pick your own flavor. I'm gonna use Ubuntu. If I click on Ubuntu, it's gonna give me information about it and what else I do. I, I need to know about this. And plus, the Andronix offering you a modded OS. Uh, they are chargeable, they're about I think one pound fifty here in UK. If you want to get that modded, I have two OS modded modded OSs, Ubuntu and Debian. But in this video, I will show you the free version, which is basically Ubuntu as a vanilla version. Let's call it that way. So I clicked on Ubuntu. I click install. I'll pick which version I want to pick. I'm gonna pick eighteen point zero four. And it gives me a documentation exactly how to install. First, I need to uh, select the desktop environment. I will I will select XFCE. And then it says, uh, if I want non-desktop uh, environment, I can click on that. What kind of other things I want, etc., etc., etc. And I'm just going to keep going. Fine. Uh, everything is what I wanted. Once you click on XFSE, automatically the command has been copied in the clipboard. What I need to do, go back on a Termux, click and hold. Once you get the messages like this, copy, paste, or more, I click paste. Automatically, command has been pasted. I press enter. And now, installation process started. It will take roughly, I uh, would say, about 20 minutes to half an hour, depending on your internet speed and other factors. But it's uh, just leave it run, don't, don't interfere with the installation process. Once or twice, you will get the messages asking you to do certain things while it's, while it's installing. But uh, I'm just going to cut the video by now and I'll come back when there is any user interaction required in doing this installation process. Once installation is completed, it's going to clear the screen and you will see a blank Termux terminal. To start Linux distro within Termux, I need to type dot slash and press tab. If tab doesn't work, you click on this icon here and it's going to give you a couple of suggestions what you need to do. So I'm just going to write start and start dash ubuntu dot sh. By pressing enter, I'm logged in into Ubuntu distro. Obviously, I can start VNC server and login straight away. But before doing that, I like to do all the upgrades and update sudo apt get update. Run that, get the most recent packages. Once update is done, I'm just going to repeat the last command just by changing update to upgrade. And it's going to give me a list of what kind of packages it needs to be upgraded. So just give a second or so to do for Termux or Linux distro to do all the calculations and you will be presented with the list. And here we go. Uh, it's going to need 152 megabytes additional storage to get all the libraries and etc. updated. I'm just going to press Y and press enter. And during this process, uh, you will have to interact with this installation a couple of times. 
One of them is being, you need to select your keyboard layout and I'll come back when the keyboard layout questions will appear. So we arrived at the location where I need to pick up right now my keyboard layout. So right now I have a quite a, a lengthy list. Uh, I need to pick up which one I would like and English US, uh, they're all US. So I'm just gonna type 21 to pick up the other. And I'll need to look for UK, which is number 30. I press 30. And now we're just gonna press one for a standard keyboard and press enter. And the installation process will carry on installing the upgrades for Ubuntu distro. And here we go, installation is completed. So I'm just gonna clear the screen. And obviously right now I can jump into a VNC server, but before doing that, I would like to install FreeCAD. To install FreeCAD, I need to type sudo apt-get install, install FreeCAD and press enter. It's gonna go and find all the packages and it's gonna give me a list of what needs to be installed and all the suggested packages. And it's gonna take about one gigabyte of extra space. So I'm gonna press yes and press enter. And now it's just waiting game till this FreeCAD gets installed in Ubuntu distro. So once FreeCAD is installed, finally we can go and run VNC server. So I'm just gonna clear the screen inside Turmux and write VNC server dash start. On the first start, it's gonna ask you to create a password. I'm just gonna create a very simple one, which is 123QWE for me to use, 123QWE for me to use as I'm gonna use this majority of the time at home. And then the next question is, would you like to enter a view only password? I'm gonna say N for no and click enter. And here we go, we have VNC server running inside Linux distro, which is being set up using Andronix and Turmux. To connect to this Linux distro, I'm gonna use a VNC viewer. Please note that VNC viewer sometimes works, sometimes doesn't on some of you, uh, from what I read on Reddit and in my YouTube video comments, some of you experiencing the issues with VNC viewer, I suggest to use or recommend to use another VNC client, which is called Remote Tricks. Remote Tricks, um, this app is chargeable, but it has a feature for RDP as well. So you get two, uh, apps in one, let's say this way. So I have VNC Viewer running. Click on that and here we go. I'm gonna say use default config and I am inside the Linux distro straight away. There's a, a screen a bit uh, messed up. I'm gonna go to settings, display, and I'm just gonna choose 1920 by 1080p, click apply and click close. And here we go. I have a Linux distro running in, on Samsung DeX and I do believe I already have FreeCAD installed. So if I'm gonna click on that, wait for a second or so to get all this working. And here we go. I can start creating a new CAD sketch and 3D objects inside this. And if you are very familiar with FreeCAD and you are whisked and a master on the CAD software, you can create probably something like this. This is my YouTube logo, YouTube channel logo, Mr. P, which I created, well, I started creating FreeCAD, but I finished uh, this model uh, inside Fusion 360 on Windows, just because FreeCAD, I'm not familiar how to use it. And it was a bit of frustrating for me to, just because it was so many complex uh, angles and lines and dimensions that I had to use to create this logo that I just found frustrating inside FreeCAD. But obviously your mileage may vary, you might just be more patient uh, have more patience than I do with the free cat, but you can create some amazing things on here as I created a while ago and I'm trying to figure out where is it. Give me two seconds. Here we go. I created this inside free cat. This is a small tiny key ring uh, with the board decks on it. Uh, uh, this is actually 25% size original one. Original is already on my car keys. Uh, and great, I created this inside FreeCAD, uh, got STL file, which I convert into a G code, and I used the end of Free Pro 3D printer to print this. So I hope this video helps. This is how you can get FreeCAD inside the Linux distro, which is being set up on Samsung DeX using Termux and Andronix. Thank you much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And don't forget, we have a Samsung DeX subreddit group, which just recently crossed 10,000 members, which is just mind blowing. I can't believe that we reached that milestone, but I'm happy that you're joining Samsung DeX subreddit group. The community is amazing. It's very helpful. We're sharing ideas, asking for help, sharing our suggestions, our setups, 
and etc. So make sure you join some syntax ability group. I leave a link to that some syntax ability group in the description below. And thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.